getting pretty warm at the end there. Wow. You want to see that one? Hey everyone, Bruce here. Welcome back to the DIY Homestead Projects channel. I have not been doing very much TIG welding in, in this entire year. If you're not practicing, if you're not continually welding and using it in a, in a job or something, you're going to lose the skills that you build. And unfortunately, I've let quite a bit of time pass since I've done any TIG welding and I desperately need some practice. So in this video, I want to cover uh, a new machine that was sent to me by Yes Welder. This is their TIG 200P ACDC TIG machine. Nice, compact, lightweight machine that fits in my garage really well in a small workspace. I don't have a huge area to work, so having a nice, small, lightweight machine is real handy in that respect. But I want to just go over the machine. I'm not going to go through everything it comes with and list all the items and do a real in-depth review. I'm, I'm basically just going to be doing a practice session. I want to bring you guys along. I thought it'd be kind of fun and you guys may enjoy it and maybe even learn something. Learn how bad my welding gets if I don't do it for a while. <laughs> I'm also going to be trying out their new Yes Welder foot pedal. We'll be giving that a shot with this machine. It does not come with the pedal. For those of you who are into specs and all that kind of stuff, I'll list a link to the Yes Welder website in the description of this video, along with a link to this machine and the foot pedal. Everything I use in this video, I'll, I'll list down there. If you want to go to the website and check out specs and look at the manuals and all that sort of thing. I'll also give you a 10% discount code, DIYHP10%. That's exclusive to the DIY Homestead Projects channel. And that'll get you 10% off of everything that you order if you order anything off the Eswalder website. Oh, I don't know if you can see, yeah, maybe you can see it. In the back there, I've got the uh, double flow gauge that Yes Welder sells as well, and I'm trying that out. I've never used it before. We'll fire this thing up. I'll run a bunch of test welds just to get practice and see what it's like, see how it runs. Uh, no promise on the weld quality. <laughs> they might be hideous. It's been a long time. I got an eighth inch coupon. I'm just gonna run a, just a straight bead across here and just see what I can do and see how the machine does. I guess that's it. Let's give it a shot and see what happens. It has a real smooth arc and it just seems really, really smooth. I'll do a dot and try to get an arc shot for you. You can see how how low of amps that arc comes on. It doesn't go pop, it just comes on nice and smooth. Comes on to whatever amperage you have it set. I've got it set at 125. It's not very straight, but, but it looks decent. Let me just do one more or so here. See if I can make it a little bit straighter and we'll then we'll have a look at them, a little bit of a closer look at them. Yeah, that's a little bit straighter. All right, I'm gonna run a couple more. This plate's starting to get kind of, kind of hot, so. Run a cup, oh, at least one more bead. Real smooth. I really like the, the arc on it. I'll show you a picture of those welds here.
All right, so I can tell <laughs> by looking at those, I definitely need practice, uh, which is the whole point in this video and why I'm doing this. Just a practice session I'm bringing you along with so you can see what I do. Whether it be right or wrong, I don't know. So I'm going to switch this to pulse and just run a, a bead down through here with just the pulse, just to see what that's, see how it works. So we'll go pulse. Let's do uh, 100 and, 160. Let's do 165 on the high side. 25 off. We'll do 0.8 of a second, so that's a not a real fast pulse. 25% of the time. And yeah, we'll just try that and see. See what that does. I'm gonna do an autogenous with this. I'm not gonna use filler. See if I can make it straight. <laughs> Good luck, right? Yeah, fairly straight. Real smooth. On, off, on, off. I'll show you guys some arc shots of this. It may not be that particular weld, but I'll show you some pulse arc shots of this machine after I get done with this practice session, and I'll just throw some of these arc shots in there for you so you can see what the arc is like. Unbelievable. I've got four beads, and I still have a good sharp tungsten that I didn't dip. <laughs> Oh, wow, yeah, that's, oh, let me get, let me get you a quick picture of that one. All right, let's try this aluminum. I've got two eighth inch coupons, coupons, do the same thing. I'm just going to run a straight bead. Nothing fancy, got everything cleaned up with acetone and give myself the best opportunity for success. Let's switch to AC 125, 120 on the Hertz, 35 on the cleaning, 5.0 post flow, 0.1 on the pre flow. And uh, let's give it a whirl. See how she does on AC with the S Welder TIG 200P AC DC machine. not too shabby. I'm working on my starts and stops as well. Something I've really not practiced a lot on, but they're real important. <laughs> I could have gone a little bit farther, but uh, wow, that thing does really nice AC. I don't know if that was just lucky or what, but let me show that one to you. I think you're going to be, you're going to be impressed. Wow. So there's the first AC aluminum weld with the uh, Yes Welder TIG 200P AC-DC machine. Pretty straight. Got my little crater filled at the end. A little frost around that from the cleaning action. But wow, does that aluminum real nice. Or at least it did at that time. Let's see if I can repeat that. And I'm just going to try the same thing again.
little farther stepping on that one. I actually like the looks of it a little better. It's kind of curved, but I'll show that one to you. That way you know it's not the same weld. I'm just showing you over and over. <laughs> We're going to do aluminum pulse TIG and we're using 170 amps, 120 hertz, 33 on the uh, low, amp, low amps, 35 cleaning. Let's do 0.8 second pulses 25% of the time. Yeah, we'll just run a autogenous straight bead the best I could do. And just see what the pulse looks like on aluminum settings for this Yes Welder machine. Pretty cool. Again, really like the arc. Definitely better if you could rest on the table. <laughs> Is that cheating? Probably. Do I, does it bother me? No. pretty warm at the end there. Wow. You want to see that one? Just having fun with that one. I'll show it to you here in a second. Let me shut this thing down. It's pretty loud. Well, thanks for joining in on my practice session of TIG welding with the Yes Welder TIG 200, 200P AC-DC machine. It was a blast for me. Nice to get back into doing some TIG welding at least practicing so I can keep my <laughs> get my skills back. Not that I really have any, I mean, I'm not a professional welder or anything. You guys probably know that if you watch my channel. But it's fun to play around with and you can do a lot of shop projects if you get your skills up to speed. And it's just a whole lot of fun. So all the links for everything I use in the video will be in the description, an 80% off, or excuse me, a 10% off coupon code Yes Welder website if you want to check out specs and get detailed stuff. And uh, thanks for riding along with me. I know it was a long video, but I appreciate you watching, hanging out, supporting the channel. If you like this video, you can click this video right over here and see another one of my DIY homestead project welding and fabrication videos. I think you'll enjoy, and we'll see you over there.